All right, let's have a look here. So we have ourselves a juicy Belveth Diamond uh, coaching VOD session free from the Discord. I asked last stream who wants to uh, get some free coaching VODs so I can put them on the VOD coaching channel that will be coming up uh, hopefully tomorrow. And uh, this is one of them. The Udio one was very good, actually. Really, really good um, game that he sent me. This should be good because Soshiro, the, the person who submitted this, is a bit of a yo-yo gamer. Win three, lose three, win three, lose three, diamond two, platinum four, diamond two, platinum four, you follow? So what could he be doing that kind of allows him to actually sustain a climb for once? Now what he doesn't do is play in sets of five or sets of three. He is very uh, uh, determined in terms of the amounts of games he likes to play. So I do, I, I do advise, if you are someone who tends to be a yo-yo gamer and binges your games, right? Ah, look at this. And binges your games to a, to a negative degree. Stop. Stop. What's that sound? It's you tilt queuing and going down. All right, so we don't, we don't want to do that. It wasn't intentional, but what do we see here, right? This is the kind of cheese that we need to be able to navigate. So we see the Belveth here doing a Red Krux Raptors. What is something we could do as Belveth? What is something we could do as Belveth, right? This is coaching, so now we can pause and talk. Uh, Red Raptors, Krugs, gang top lane. The first time I ever covered uh, Demex, rank one EU West, take Baron. You're not wrong. But like an alien from 2250, you're not in the right time zone. So what he did was he went red, wrapped his Krugs, ganked the side lane. Enemy jungle was like, oh shit, I don't expect a Belveth to do that. Aren't you a full clear? He's like, no, Belveth is a Fista. I want to do stuff. So you could easily do this in the bottom lane. But obviously uh, in this particular case, you could kind of flex, well, that's not so good. If the enemy jungle starts here, then you could go invading, right? This is important. If the enemy jungle goes invading, or sorry, red side down, you could easily just loop back with a scanner and do some gaming. You beat so many champions level three, but when you see this, don't overcorrect unless you can actually cut in here to, to kind of counter gank this. So he's moving down. We could move in to make a play here, but again, not something that's necessarily going to happen. We don't want to show. We don't want to show. We don't want to show. We're going to position ourselves. Let's see what we do. We could easily position ourselves for a little bit of cheeky gameplay, especially seeing the Sejuani in this Edo is most likely just going to walk through the bush. Let's have a look. Ah, we're going into the flash W and him it to one. There we go. That was, so, if you, <laughs> okay, okay. So if you want to make that play, um, don't, again, like the gameplay, left eye looking this way, right eye looking this way. Pick your target, kill your target, right? Also remember you get the refresh in your Q directional when you uh, hit that W, right in that same direction. So make sure that if you don't need to use flash, if you can just Q W, you'd get the refresh. You don't need to use your flash. You can save your flash for like a, a flash Q finish. You know what I mean? Especially seeing as you're most likely targeting one person, although the greed allowed him, allowed him to almost get two. So I like to play. Now we're gonna go in this little cheeky uh, patience gaming scenario here. This is where you kind of want to save your smite. Um, do we really want to bing she'll wait? I mean, I think it's good to kind of cheese. If you're a Rengar, you're definitely going to cheese. I would wait for her to use more spells on the red. We do miss our W, which is a big mechanical issue here. We will have, excuse me, the E up as well. Sucky, sucky, sucky. Okay, well played. Good job. Good job, Yasubi. Definitely a nice play to make if you're a Rengar, a Snowball, a Kindred, a Graves, a Nidley. Misses the Shari, you can dash. We don't have a Smite now, which is the issue here. We do have W up. Shen moves on over for the Flash Taunt. We get the Q knock up. Yasubo's going in here. Ignites. Nicely done. All right, good, good, good job, Shiro. So what we're looking for this game, and coaching will shift, all right? We will have sessions where, especially people I've known for a long time, I've coached for a long time, where we kind of focus on losses for a bit. And I was like, well, that's so negative. It's like, yes, but eventually some of those negative, not negative, but like constructive criticism moments get boosted up a little bit. And then you get to have a game like this where now we want to reinforce the good habits. So the good habits here, seeing this, tracking this, pressing tab, HCSing it, seeing this shove, making the adaptive counter gank here because they're taking too long to shove because it's an economy with energy problems, making this kill here. We know that the Shishuani is going to have to go back to base. She took a Grom, she took a blue. She knows that her red's up, Krugs are up, Raptors are up. Going bottom side here wouldn't make a lot of sense because there's no counter jungling. She almost has to go into a red side jungle, but she doesn't respect the fact that the Belveth could invade, which of course means we just, just, just wait. I would normally wait a little bit for a cooldown to be used a bit more. Wouldn't it be better to take blue side and B? It's safer, not better. That's the thing, right? We're playing Belveth. We're not playing Karthus. 
right? If, and even then, Karthus could make this kind of play, but what's Karthus want to do? Sequence, 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 control. So that's fine. But Belveth, Kindred, Nidalee's Graves, I w Rangars, I would love to, I want to see these players. These nice, aggressive plays, because you know the jungler has to come here. Let them tank a little bit of the red, save our smite so that we can outsmite them if possible. Don't really need to use it on Raptors. Go ahead, snack this sucker up, kill the jungler. Well played. We did miss our W though, that it was a bit sideways, but again, that's a good, constructive play that Shiro doesn't normally make, because his issue is low KP, right? Low KP, low CSPM, so what's happening? We're not rotating, we're not making aggressive plays, we're not farming. Let's see how we go. We're trying to reinforce the good habits in this particular coaching video. Whereas the like, Udyr on Wednesday was a bit more, you know, let's build up the, that, that's constructive criticism mid. I don't like the term mean or, or be a negative. It's not true when you're coaching. It's not negative. I mean, some coaches are negative, but why, why, why flame someone to be negative, right? Doesn't really make any sense. Um, all right, then that's, that's pretty good. Now at this point we know, uh, okay, what, <laughs> this is interesting to me. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What do you think this is one he should be going? Right? She loses Raptor, she loses Red. She dies on the Red. She knows that the Belveth has taken both of those things. So what does she have on the map? She has a Wolf Camp, a Bottom Scuttle, and she has a tier 2 Grump spawning at your 415, 417, 418, depending on human capabilities. Why would you go sort of topside if she goes topside for this? Right? Why would you go topside for this? If she isn't bot, she should go to bed, in my opinion. <laughs> she went for Krugs. She went for Krugs. Like, what's the logic out of base here again, right? We die. We see all of this from her perspective. Yeah, we're kind of wrote, it's gone. It's gone. There's nothing, there's nothing to be done here. The one thing that you know for certain is that she has all of this available. We have our Grump spawning in about 18 seconds. We have this, we have this, and we have a pushing bot lane. You know, with no heal. Can we go burn some sums? Which is only we're a tank. Waiting for red to respawn. Yeah, <laughs> there's not what we want to do. So this plagues a lot of junglers. Now you're watching this, you're thinking, wow, I could be Diamond too. Go watch your replay. How many times do you make this decision out of base going the wrong direction? Right? Because now you know Belveth's going to get hungry and take all of this. Unlikely she's going to take one thing base and then just like invade you again. It's not really optimal, is it? So you have a bit of time. But you have to create the time for yourself. Yeah? And obviously it's warded here, so we see, we see the Sejuani, right? So I shouldn't have actually posed it like a theoretical question, because we see her. We see her on the wars, we see everything. We're having a fat chat about it, but... um. I'm looking at Twitch chat and, you know, we, we see this, so we know this. So basically, we, we, we know we're kind of safe. I would be slightly concerned maybe she was coming to the Grump here if, if I was paying attention, obviously. So uh, you want to move down and kite down. If she does make this play, it's insanely, um, insanely aggressive for a tank. And now what can we do? I've never died before. I don't <laughs> I've never died, so I don't have to make the decision. Yes, true. So here now we finished up blue side, right? We're going down to the bottom side quadrant. We have here the Akali moving to the bottom lane as well. Some low HP targets. Could we react to this? Yeah, I think we could actually. So I don't know if we really need to be doing this. Why? Because Sejuani is going to show up on the top side, go back to base and come down here. I would prefer to look to maybe get the crab and get some cleanup kills here. Uh, potentially, obviously we have not resets, which is a crucial, crucial thing. But I would prefer to crab and shadow. 100% I would be preferring to crab and shadow this. Just in case. Hit this too. You hit this, you should see Shazwani if she's walking down this way. Again, in her head. And obviously now, if you wanted to and nothing was available, you can loop back or you can just base. Because we want to spend, right? We want to spend. So I don't think we should do the Raptors there first. We want to guarantee the free thing quickly. Shadow for potential cleanup. Loop back or fall back. We don't have scanner either. This one is holding a wave, man. This, this is very annoying. Don't you agree? Isn't this annoying? <laughs> You're like, I defeated and destroyed the enemy jungler. They hold one wave. We're like, yeah, we just we deserve to be close to the same level. Yeah, we. She deserves it, man. She she tried her best. Should uh proc an early six though, which is really really nice. There we go. Thank you very much. Um, just drop by to tell you. Also, thank you so much. Appreciate it. We are trying. We are trying our best. When you say cut in pathing, does that mean cutting short the current path and going to the lane where the action is? Yeah, it means cut into the map. Literally, like, don't do raptors and krugs and then look for stuff. If stuff's happening, go for the outside and rule. In this case, we know it's the grump, but that's kind of dicey because she should be resetting to go for it. We go for the outside raptor pit. Can we help Yasubi? Could we get some kills? Can we cut off the the, the, the Sejuani again? You know, we don't know, uh, but we know there's three low HP targets here, so we should try. 
At this particular moment, we know this is one he was likely fell back to blue side, so I like... I liked where we were going. It looked like we were looking to Shadow and Counter Gank. Um, but I would anticipate that the lack of anticipation in Shiro's gameplay, Raptors to, to Scuttle, Red now onto the map at level 6, is the reason we're in these sort of yo-yo positions. Because if, if Yasuo dies a thousand times, right? We do hit that one, we do hit that one, we do get dashed out of, we do have our E as well. We're going to gap close again, but she's going to... Yeah, that's... It, it, it do be that way against an Akali. Now, the thing is, we would have seen the Sichuani go this way, right? And this is where you have to kind of flex your decision-making process, right? Let's just have a look here. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this, right? You see that direction. Now, what she could be doing is misleading and going back to the blue side, but at the same time, she's low HP and telegraphing she's going to the top side. Is a low diamond platinum player going to really always use the mind games like this? No. Right? But at the same time, if you're not going to rotate in anticipation for counter gig mid lane, and you're going to take your red buff first here, okay. What can I do here? What can I do immediately that gets me some good stuff? Blue side, dragons, bot lane guy, the dives. So that's what we're going to look for, okay? Because we should have seen her telegraphing up, which means he's actually just going to go straight for the dragon. Let's see. And what champions would I do this? Yeah, Amundo. Amundo. I did this on, I did this on Mundo on Saturday, actually. Uh, just looked, saw the direction, was like, they're gone. They're not going to be down here. I'm just going to take this. The Ash Arrow gives us a lot of information, but we should know that the blue is up, right? Because the, 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 she doesn't have blue on it, so we know we can go and steal it and force the issue. But you have to pay attention to, like, lane prior and if you can actually do something. I kind of like this here, though. You see what you see? What's happening? Projection? We're anticipating that the Sejuani might do red side into this Herald, and we want to get that as well. It's, it's a main thing for us. And now we have true form from the Dragon. So we're going to shadow through mid lane, although just as a, as a general principle... RNG crab spawning on the top side. We also have this wave pushed up quite a bit. You could... Uh, it's safer to part the way he's parting, but you could as a... You know, if there was a more immobile mid lane mage on the enemy team, for example, they're not going to kind of coin from the vision. So you can kind of just shadow in front. You see this little gap here? So the wave is this far up, you can definitely do that. But this is, this is the safer route that, that we're going. This is the safer route that we're going. We should kill her, yes. Flash burn, smite used, avoided that nicely. We have no directional cues. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. We have uh, over the wall abilities now because of the fact that there we go. There we go, good. Just, we're just looking, waiting for the cooldowns because you can go for walls now as well. Oh, hello. Shen's ulting. Kali's rotating. Team are collapsing. Nice play by, 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 by Shiro again on the Belveth. We do hit that W for the knockup on the Yasubi. We're going to go and don't always take the coral. It's not always the best thing to do it. Do it when someone else is tanking the aggro, and he can die. So, what what good habits should we, we kind of tell Shiro to keep doing here? Aggressive plays against a jungler you know you can beat 1v1, and... I mean, he, des he deserves it, he's Yasuo. And look at the pressure we have. Yes, this could have been an invade potential, but at the same time, like you said, right? There's a Herald, and if she's on it, we kill her. So we're just gonna cut across and focus on the objective. That's the whole concept of Eyes Up Jungling in the video I put out on Saturday. I said, when you make your play, look up on the map. Before you look at your camps, look up. What can I do next? All right, I know blue's available, and now I could easily take that. She could be coming back, and I have to pay attention to the fact that my bot lane is basing. Uh, so I don't really want to throw, but where could she most likely be if she wanted to, like, equal and opposite me? Oh, Herald. All right, let me go have a look. She's out of position. Two levels up. Three kills. And then we push, right? We push like we don't care. This is... The exact kind of stuff you need to be doing is Belveth. Push into the jungle. Don't care if people rotate. We kill them all. Now we have fishies. She's out of position here. She tanks the tower shot. Do we see it? We do. Eyes up, all right? We finish the Herald. We don't go back into our camps. We do this. Um, I hate it when that happens. The Camille knows that the Herald was snacked. The Camille knows that we're in the area. The Camille knows that we're coming, so she just dies. And we get nothing. But, hey, look, fishies. Is this a live recording of a YouTube video? No, this is just me. Well, technically this will go on YouTube, but it's it's my new channel. I'm just I'm just vibing with someone who sent me a, a ruffle. <laughs> a little bit of a coaching. Uh, we want to focus on good habits. This one is focusing on good habits that we can take from game to game. For a player who's stuck in a yo-yo cycle of not doing these things, like historically, uh, he wouldn't look for this dragon, right? He would go just keep sequencing. Uh, he would take the dragon, go for the blue, and maybe base. He wouldn't think about, hey, jungle's here, let me go and kill them. Hey, jungle's out of position, let me just chase them and kill them. He doesn't always recognize his lead. And uh, we want to kind of drive home these good, 
habits as well. You know, like in coaching has got to be pro and con all the time. We saw Camille very briefly. Look, we have an army of crustaceans and we have uh, five plates to us. We have another charge to us. We want to be careful because we have a lot of cash money in pocket. Four grand, four grand. We see the Sichuani on the bottom lane, level six. She's out of the game, guys, because the snowballing aggressive jungler punished her early ganking. Now we go back to base. Do we finish the blue side? Could do. But uh, when we have four grand in pocket, I feel like it's good to go spend it, right? It's good to it's good to go and spend this kind of stuff. Um, and now we can leave the base here. Have you tried Sunder or Volley, bro? I mean, I'm known for volley. I make volley guides. <laughs> so I was doing volley divine. I was doing volley uh, divine Sunder as soon as it was released. In my in my czar guide, it's like still de facto because I still think it's good. I think Iceborne is the best, but the problem is volley bear is just like he's not that great right now. The problem is that the damage nerfs were just not so fun. Like he does not feel like he used to in 2020, 2021 at all. And in 2021, I had to actually DM like the designer because we he uh, we helped me like the designer of Volley Bear in 2020 helped me um, like we collaborated on the release content for like Q and A's about the abilities. And um, I was speaking to him in 2021. I said. <laughs> the bear is terrible in the jungle. Can we have buffs? Can we have something? He's like, I'm asking them, but I don't have the power. And eventually they did buff Volley Bear again, right? And we had some good times. Um, and now they've done the same thing again. But unfortunately, you know, like there's no insider information. Like creators can't just get in to Riot's balance team. Like we can poke Riot as we know, but you can't like hold them buff. But Volley definitely needs some love. Zach is a champion. Zach is a broken champion. Sorry for the aside, but I think it's important to note like you can easily, and I think he says Diamond with Divine Sunderer, that's exactly right, right? Here we go. Into the mid lane, we see the says one again, like, a ganking jungler needs to be repeatedly counter ganked and repeatedly punished. Look, what are we doing here? What's going on here? Kane buffs? Kane doesn't need buffs. What are we doing here? We're just pushing towers. We're just pushing towers. The plates, what are we at gold-wise? 7.3 by 12, eh, not quite the 9k, you know, I, th I think that's a good metric. If you're Yi, Belveth, we want 9k by 14, ideally. Like, that's peak investment. Only through multiple plates. That's it. A lot of kills and multiple plates. Jungle differing? Exactly. We are jungle differing, but that's good. So here we see this. We kind of gank this. We push some more. Obviously, we don't get as much damage. We fall back to this. I think here it could be more advantageous to do the Krugs just to finish the whole quadrant and loop around because we've got time for this dragon to spawn. And we know we want to shatter the bot lane. So we could easily do this as they push up. And now if there's an overcommit here, there'll be a gank. We're primed to kind of rotate, but also like there's no point in leaving this quadrant open. I would just finish it and then move in. You could move in before and it might work, but it might not work. I don't want to results based it. Um, but by taking this, we can just kind of make sure the quadrant's finished. We get um, extra ammunition and it's more important if you're close to 10. So if you're level nine and you guarantee close to 10 on Krugs, do the Krugs because the level 10 will help you. Here we're not, so it's not as big of an issue, right? But British Quadrant, Shadow, move in, counter jungling, but the principle here is good. I have the lead, I'm going into the jungle. Well, I fought awesome last season, I used him to get mastered last season, I gave up on him preseason, but now I'm going to pick him up again. Yep, yep. I mean, I used him 2020, 2021 for master, but uh, this season I was like, after the nerfs, I said, nah, I'm just going to learn something else. And I like, Mundo. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is much better. <laughs> it was not that good overall um, at the time. Like, he had. 0.5% per grade, 49% win rate, but it was still like a hidden gem, right? For sure. No, but with Volley, you have to build Divine now to do remote damage. If you got Iceborne, it can be fine, but it's still like a bit of a tank, right? Sheen is just, you need the Sheen. Three Dragon, full back after Grump Snack. We have the bottom line here rotating, thank you so much. We could look to go for Giga Dive here with the Shen. We have the Sichuani level six, three level lead. This is so good, Shiro, this is much better. Um, and for context, Shiro is also a Volley Bear player. Let me use the map tripping. Ah. Visual glitch. Visual glitch. They nerfed him. They nerfed his damage. You ever make any videos on who to perma ban? Wait, we're going for the dive. We have the Lulu ult. We're repositioning using the ESUC damage reduction and lifesteal component. We can re- Oh, we're just gonna smite. Ah, like it just smite and get it. But that's what I'm talking about. This is much better stuff, Shiro. Much better. Get into the jungle, force her out, chunk her, go for the dive. Take some more plates quickly before 14. Yes, 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 yes. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. This is good. This is how you play Belveth. Don't AFK far, my friends. Someone mispositions early from an early gank. Woof. In their jungle. Take it away. Kill them. And look, if a diamond... Anyone who's been Master Bliss knows this. If a diamond jungler 
dies here and then comes back to the side with one camp and nothing else up. Um, it's definitely happening <laughs> below those elos. Definitely. So can you abuse them? Yes, if you can recognize them. Over the wall, we're going in here. We get the Yasubi. We get the taunt. We get the shield. Again, well done. Rotating, leading the map. Once you get into Diamond, you can carry games so easily by leading the map here. We're going in for the... As I said, you don't need every Coral in the game. The big shutdown. If Zed is trash, Vukai remains Shaco. I don't play Zed and I don't play Shaco. Although, there's there's a type of content, I will say this. There's a type of content. Boom! Okay, Ash. Is that Rox Tigers? Is that Rox Tigers Ash Alt? Is that Prey? Alright, so um, what we're going to do here is... We are addicted to our calls, we can't resist it? Yeah, I, exactly. So there's a type of content I could do with a Shaco, Shaco. I'm not going to say it, but it's a case of, uh, you know, if an emergency break glass. <laughs> I have it in here. All right. So from base here, now we have both items completed. Obviously, this is the best way to go. Conquer a Kraken Blade. It hasn't changed. It's always been the best. Lethal Tempo, Shield Blow. Don't do that shit. It's terrible. You lose so much damage. But Vakayu, who are you? Well, okay. Um, the rank one Belveth agrees and says the same thing. The Max, he's in the server. Ping him if you want. He says the same thing. It is not so good. When something has like a 53% win rate for 8 months, 10 months, 12 months, it's probably good because data is important. Data matters. As long as you can interpret it. For example, Silas is 48% win rate. But would we say he's a terrible jungler? No, we wouldn't. So from here again, we take this as a buff. Again, like... Could you afford to take your whole camps and get into here? Yes, but at the same time, we know outside and what's available. Boom, boom, boom. Kaiser's going to show up here. We're going to fall back to the objective. Just take everything and you deny them. And I think that's the biggest thing here. 63 CS to 125. As I struggle to gulp air, as the Kaiser decides to try and flank on the Yasuo, is going to hit the Q, gets the kill, Lulu's out of position. We take the Herald, we rotate to the fight. Wait, where are we? Can we rotate to the fight? Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's rotate. Come on, take the camps. We want 11. Take the camps, take the camps, take the camps. Get 11. Get 11. Before the fight, get 11. Get 11. There we go. Get 11, then we fight, right? If you're any other jungler, very crucial for your damage, for your uh, cooldowns. And obviously, you know, we finished our <laughs> must stomper. So don't fight before you do that. Will Maka get nerfed in jungle? Maka should be nerfed in the jungle. Join together with the minions to infuse the map with your fishies, your tadpoles. And now, just like in the Udyr game on Wednesday, which is a gold game, same thing, right? Have the split pressure. Diana too in the gameplay earlier. The split pressure the jungles could provide at the moment is huge. That's an ADC. Remember what we do to ADCs. Even as Maokai. We kill them, we assassinate them. But with the rest of our team not really in the picture... Actually, that's a lie. Our mid lane. We have three people mid lane. I'm an idiot. We can definitely push this out. And we could definitely keep going with this a little bit. I think we should, actually. I mean, I know we have cash monies, but I feel like we could have stayed here and forced the issue a bit. Missed opportunity to kind of really uh, just kill the Kaiser, threaten this, force rotaciones, and then have the mid lane shove up a little bit more. So as you kill Kaiser, flash, use everything. Uh, don't die, please. You shouldn't die, but just to emphasize, don't die. You know, their team's going to have to send more people to deal with this, which means your team can keep pushing this. So you can keep the pressure up, and again... This is such a great game for a snowballing jungler to learn denial. So I hope Shiro stops not doing this, right? And I hope he stops having 5 CSPM with 40% KP in those negative games, because there's no reason to not play like this every single game. Mechanically, you do have to hit... well... I, she's easy. Most champions, mechanically, you have to hit your spells. <laughs> she doesn't. Also, it's the best thing against the Kali's. I like that as, as a Fed Zyra, too. I can just E, hit the E, full combo. Doesn't go anywhere. And if you hit them on the center, they try and dash out, they get knocked up before they leave. Same kind of concept. But anyway, into their jungle, take their stuff, kill them, fall back to the objective. Swoop method, just like I'm releasing the video on the main channel, how to win in Season 13. This is the swoop method, my friends. We do not care about this. All we care about is ensuring that we are leading our team side to side, side to side, side to side. You guys get a lead and you lose, you don't do this. You guys get a lead and you fall back to this camp and your team dies here and you're like, why are you dying, team? Why aren't you with them? Why, are you, why did you fall back, right? Swoop, 
Control the rivers into the jungle. Fall back, fall into the rivers, push them out, take your stuff, catch the wave, push the wave. Here we go, catch the wave, push the wave. Herald activation with mega fishies. What are they gonna do? They're gonna see four people mid lane and ideally engage as five to catch the split push. You will trade an inhib here for four man death if you're the Sichuanese team, because you can't hold otherwise. And there's no wave right now, okay? Or you just go kill the Baveth, but um, I hope that isn't what's gonna happen here, because I should be very comfortable. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm very impressed. You guys can tell me in the chat as well, or in the comments below, that the whole team rotated with no wave. <laughs> Aren't we used to the, uh, this is amazing. They all said, hey guys, let's rotate and join the Baveth. <laughs> I'm very proud of everyone in this game for playing such good gaming. Good job. Thumbs up. So, Shiro, to summary. Good tracking early. Press tab CS, understanding where she's gonna be. Set the trap, kill her. Keep her out of her jungle. She missed positions, you gank the lanes, you take the objectives. You track where she was going to be suboptimally. You cut her off. You chapsed her and chased her out of her jungle again. She could never get farmed. She could never do anything because you were always there to get in her face, push her out, and take her shit. From this, you have a flame horizon. This is how you want to play every game. This is how you want to play every game. If you're a diamond jungler, play like this every game. And we have here a master Soraka doing some good work as well. Yeah, well, that's a season nine, actually, emote. What's funny is the season nine emote is like this big. Season 10 is this big. Season 11 is this big. And season 12 is this big. The season 13 is going to be... <laughs> as the percentage player base increases in Hilo, so does the emote get smaller in the same perspective. <laughs> anyway, um, subscribe to the coaching channel. And uh, yeah, thumbs up. It's a brand new channel, guys. I don't have any catchphrases yet. This is, this is for stream. I'm just going to be uploading it to YouTube. That was fun. Um, not, as con not as negative, maybe, as some people would want, but I know people always want, like, both perspectives. They want a game that reinforces good habits and snowballs, and then they want people to assess, like, complete doomed scenarios. Which is... We do all of those things here. And to start off for Season 13, I will be hosting another bootcamp with Coach Kybert for laners and junglers, and for every single role, topics on your screen now starts end of January, January 30th, Basically, we're going to be covering everything in this video in depth related to you, giving you some active examples, some drills, everything to make you a better League of Legends player as a whole, all through a really in-depth two-week bootcamp from January 30th onward. And additionally, I will be raffling off a $400 coaching package to a lucky winner who subscribes in the first 100 tickets, which means a further four hours of coaching directly with me, all free for you after the bootcamp is finished. And overall, the bootcamp is just chocked full of absolute free coaching, free VOD reviews, Q&As, we have 10 different sessions for you from myself and Coach Kybert. We have other challenger coaches on call. Essentially, you're looking at something like 30 coaching sessions for the price of one, all within a community hosted by Gosu Academy. So click the link in the description below, sign up, join the Discord, and I will see you all there to learn everything you need to know about Season 13 jungling and laning so that you can climb to your ranked goals 